Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today we're going into new music theory territory by learning a new kind of scale called the tetrachord. What is a tetrachord? Well, tetra is a Greek prefix that means four, like the number four. So a tetrachord is a family of four notes, all one step apart. And by the end of today, we're going to learn how to combine two tetrachords to build a full eight note or one octave scale. Let's come to the piano to check it out. Here I have drawn the C major tetrachord. You'll notice it's just one key different from the C major pentascale, which we're very familiar with. Tetra means four, so we just go up these four notes, do, re, mi, fa, putting the half step here at the top of the tetrachord. Now, in music, very often we want to go a full octave. Remember, oct means eight, and to go an octave, that's going to be eight notes, four plus four more. So if you put two tetrachords together, like this, you can get a full octave scale. So down here we have C, D, E, F, and then up here we have G, A, B, C. Now let's notice some things about these tetrachords. You'll notice that the top two notes of this tetrachord form the half step. Same thing with this tetrachord. Two notes at the top make the half step. You put two tetrachords together like that, and that builds a one octave major scale. So this is cool because it will open up so many new songs that we can perform when we can go the full octave. Now in solfege, let's give a name to each of these notes of the octave scale. We have do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Now can you try that with me? Ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Good, now let's come down the octave scale like this. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Now try that with me. Ready, going down, go. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Good job. Now on your own, I'd like you to practice that. Singing up the octave, down the octave. Whenever you're feeling bored, just start singing some solfege octave scales. Now let's talk about how to play these two tetra scales, which again form a one octave major scale. I'm going to use my left hand, fingers 5, 4, 3, 2 on C, D, E, F. And notice my thumb is not needed. My right hand, I'm going to use fingers 2, 3, 4, 5 on G, A, B, C. So once again, our thumbs are not needed in either hand. We only need four keys, four keys. So the thumb gets to take a break. Okay, so now will you find this position with me? With your left hand, fingers five, four, three, two, cover up C, D, E, F. Then right hand is just on the next adjacent four white keys, G, A, B, C. And it's gonna go like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Can you play that with me? And let's sing the solfege. Ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now let's come down. Ready, go. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Nice job. This time let's sing the letter names. Ready, go. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now coming down. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Now if you didn't quite get that, feel free to press pause and try that a couple more times on your own. Otherwise, let's keep going. Now, this is called the major one octave scale. We're going all the way from Do to Do. Low Do, which is C, to High Do, which is C. And then we could keep going up from there. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Can keep going all the way up the piano. Now I'd like to teach you a really short song that will just be to practice these tetrachords. And then we're going to transpose this song eventually into all 12 major and minor keys. The song goes like this. It's called Follow Me. Follow, 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 follow me. Let's make a line for all to see. That's the whole song. Really short. 
Like I said, it's just to practice these tetra chords. Now, let me show you how to play it. The song goes, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, So, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, 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 Mi, Mi, Re, Re, Do. Or with lyrics, Follow, 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 follow me. Let's make a line for all to see. Now you might be asking, where's the sheet music, Mr. Hoffman? Well, this song I want you to learn by ear. It's important to be able to learn songs both by reading from a score, from the sheet music, or by just figuring it out, by hearing it and imitating it. Now, if you'd like, using the materials you can get from our website, you can get a blank staff that you can notate it yourself, which I challenge you to do. So you write down the notes for yourself. So let's try to play Follow Me. Can you cover up these two tetra chords with the right and left hand? I will sing a pattern and you try and play it back. So we're going to have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, So. Now you try. Good, and you'll notice before we would have played that like this, but now when we get to so, we're going to shift over to the other hand. So you only have four notes per tetrachord. Do, re, mi, fa, so, so. Try that one more time. Good, then we skip all the way up to the high do and then step down. Do, ti, la, so. Your turn, sing and play. Good, now let's put those last two patterns together. We have, let's make a line for all to see. Your turn. Good, now putting all of that together, we have do, re, mi, fa, so, so, do, ti, la, so. Fa, 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 mi, mi, re, re, do. Try it with me. Ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, so. Do, ti, la, so. Fa, 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 mi, mi, re, re, do. If it wasn't perfect, don't worry. Let's try it one more time. This time with the lyrics. Follow, 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 follow me. Let's make a line for all to see. Ready, go. Follow, 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 follow me. Let's make a line for all to see. Nice job. Now, why don't you press pause, try that two times on your own, once singing the lyrics, once singing the solfege, and for bonus, maybe one more extra time singing the letter names. And then press play when you're ready to go on. Now let's try to play Follow Me together. I'll add this accompaniment and you play and sing the melody. Okay, so you're up here and sing while you play. That will help develop your ear. And I will add the accompaniment. I'll give you four beats to prep and then we start. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. Follow, follow, follow. One more time, this time sing the solfege. A one, two, three, four. Do, re, mi, fa, so, so, do, ti, la, so. Fa, 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 mi, mi, re, re, do. Nice job. Now that you know how to play the C major one octave scale using two tetra chords, let's see how we can transpose this. Now I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can transpose this and then I want you to experiment and see if you can find some other keys you can transpose it to. For starters, let's try the D major scale. Now before we do that, let's just remind ourselves really quickly, the last two notes of each tetrachord are where the half steps belong. That's really important to remember. It's between the third and fourth note and the seventh and eighth note of your scale. Mi and fa and ti and do. Now, let's move this up 
to D. So now D is DO. We just transposed, and let's see if we need any black keys to keep the half step in the correct place. We have DO, RE. Now, are me and FA a half step apart like this? Uh, nope, they are not. Instead, it looks like we've got a half step here, so we're going to have to take this note and move it up a half step. And now you'll see that we have the half step correctly placed. Now, sometimes a student may say, well, I could move this note down a half step and make this a G flat, and now we've got the half step. Well, that's true that this is a half step now, but you also have a half step here. And in a major tetrachord, you can only have one half step, not two. So the right way to solve this would be to move this one up a half step, and that puts everyone the right distance apart. Now let's see if you can figure out these four notes. What do I need to do to make the half step in the right place? Can you point to the note I need to change? If you're pointing here, you're correct. I need to make this one a sharp as well. This C becomes a C sharp, just like this F became F sharp. Now I have a half step between T and Do and between Mi and Fa, and this should sound like a D major scale. Let's try it. So with your left hand, cover up D, E, F sharp, G, and then instead of putting your thumb there like it's a D major pentascale, since we're just doing a tetrachord, we stop there, then the right hand takes over at A with finger two, and then we have to remember this C sharp. So this is your one octave scale using two tetrachords. Let's try to sing the solfege. Ready? Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Then coming down, do, ti, la, sol, fa, mi, re, do. We just transposed the one octave major scale to D major. Okay, let's see what would happen if we tried to transpose the major scale to F. Okay, so I've got my two tetrachords, but we've got to check and see if the half steps are in the right place. If it's not a half step, it's going to be a whole step. And you'll recall that a whole step is the distance of two half steps. Or another way to think about that is that there is one key in between, white or black. So here's a whole step, no problem because we've got a black key in between. Another whole step, oh and another whole step. That's not correct. Can you tell me how we would fix this? Some of you might be thinking, move this key up a half step. But that would not be correct, and here's why. Now you have more than a whole step between these two notes, plus now you've created a half step between our two tetrachords, which also isn't correct. So the one we really want to move is this key. If you see if we move this one down a half step, B becoming B flat, now everyone's happy. These are all still whole steps, do, re, mi, Do, Re, Mi is supposed to be a whole step pattern, then Mi to Fa is a half step. Then we've got a whole step here, you can see, because there's one key in between, this time a white key. Now, can you tell me if we need to change any keys in this blue tetrachord? Yes or no? The right answer is no. We don't need to change anything because the half step is already in the correct place. So this is exactly what we would need for an F major scale. So let's try to cover this one up. Use 5, 4, 3, 2 on your first tetrachord, ending on B flat with finger two, then pick it up from C, D, E, F with your right hand. It should sound like this. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Now can you try that with me? Ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Now we can play follow me in this position. Follow, follow, follow. Follow me, let's make a line for all to see. So today we've seen C major, we've seen D major, which had two sharps, an F sharp and a C sharp. We've seen F major, which has a B flat. My challenge to you is to see if you can figure out any other keys on your own. And my hint is the first five notes will be the same as the pentascale, but then you have to figure out the rest of the scale. And remember to take your thumbs away to make it add up to eight notes for the one octave. See if you can figure out any other keys and try to play the scale singing the solfege, and then try to play the song Follow Me in any key that you discover. 
Thanks for learning about tetrachords with me today. Remember to practice every day, and I'll see you next time. Follow, follow, follow. Huh? Follow me. Huh? I feel like someone's following me. Yep, it was me. Ah! <laughs>